suck! What is happening?! And we're back! With eight seconds to go. But I'm gonna die. I'm going to kill them now. Now! No, 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 no! I can't kill them when they're tiny. <laughs> Let's just do this! <laughs> <laughs> and we will slink you away. Son of a bee. Did you ever watch How I Met Your Mother? Uh, I did for a while. Did you see the up to the part where Sarah Chalk was like, almost got married to the main character, Ted? Um, to a lot Stella. Of Stella, that was her name yes. in the show. Okay. She had a kid, right? Yeah, she had a kid and she left him for his her ex-husband. Yes. Which that. you should always do, because marriage is forever. <laughs> okay? Eyes of the Lord. Anyway, uh... Oh, God damn this guy. God damn all those guys. So, anyway, um... What the fuck is wrong with this fucking game? Just beat the shit make America great again, Pat. Oh! Sarah! So anyway, Sarah Chalk became friends with the producers and stuff for How I Met Your Mother, and they knew that How I Met Your Mother was not going to be on forever. So no, they, they actually like it. They came up with another show that was basically based in Philadelphia, um, and it had the really goofy fucking guy from... Um, American Pie, the Jewish one. Jason Biggs. Jason Biggs. Yeah, anyway, that show failed. It was supposed to be like the new High Metro Mother. It got canceled. Didn't, didn't even run a full season. Okay. I tried watching it. It was atrocious. And even when I, four episodes in, it did not hit its stride. You know, I want to be honest about Jason Biggs. You got to take him in small doses and he's got to be, he's got to pick his spots. It's got to be years apart. And that's not because of the Jew. <laughs> <laughs> there is no American Pie. He's perfect for it. That weird love movie that he did, where he like proposed to Ella Fisher, that nobody watched, but it was like over advertised. Well, what about the one? He's in the one with Dane Cook, isn't he? Yeah, that was actually a good movie. Was, that, that was like Dane Cook's last movie, and it was good. Um, Dane Cook's her name was good. He's dead now. I think he only lives on Twitter. Dane Cook did die. I love that. <laughs> The, um, she's not Brittany Murphy. She also died, but really. Um, and then her husband died a year later. But four months later, I actually just watched this on the ID channel. Um, and they killed Jason Biggs off in Orange is the New Black. Did they? I didn't. I oh, watched. spoiler, spoiler. He, well, he's not the first season. If you, I got him. If you watch the second season of Orange is the New Black, his story kind of comes to an end. He basically breaks up their I'm really spoiling this for people but fuck it it's been out for over a year if you're gonna watch it you're gonna fucking watch it but he basically uh just do la 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 with your fingers and your ears Boy, for the next MCB. 30 seconds anyway he Boilers. basically steals like one of their close friends like wives and leaves her while she's in prison well uh, and then uh fucking like her boobs out for some reason the lady that he steals season three Season two. Season two? Yeah, and you know, her boob wasn't that attractive, and you could tell that she Wait, did. Her boob was out of it? Yeah, it was like it popped out. That's how the whole love interest started. What she answers the door with a baby in her arms and her boobs hanging out, and she's like, what she didn't remember. Remember? <laughs> Put your fucking phone away. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, I'm just so entranced by this fucking sun. I got it. sunlight. I love sunlight. Well, I love sunset. Let me tell you why Orange is the New Black, I watched it for a long time, I was like, the first season was really good, I was a big fan of the lesbian episodes, like most of them. They, they weren't out, and Laura Preppin's a fucking giant. But she <laughs> like, is. She is. But I feel like, I, my understanding is like Jason Biggs kind of turned into the bad guy because he stole her story no, or something. No, yeah. But I did not have any sympathy for her because he was... I didn't like, have, no, that's the thing, you, it's like, by this season, you have no sympathy for her, and, you know, they said that they were going to play up the other characters because a lot of other characters, people loved them. But this season, like, it's pretty much equal. Like, I don't even know why they put her as, like, the main poster child anymore because it's like... There's characters I care about more than her. Like, she'll have a really interesting story sometimes, but other than that, like, I want to see Red get it back in the kitchen. I want to see oh, other man. shit happen. That was, see, like, that was some compelling shit. But I, I watched, I think, the first episode of the second season as far as I got, because it's like, well, this person, I understand that, you know, maybe she should have been just, uh, girl from that Shetty show. Or maybe they were in love. She was way better looking as a redhead. And okay. maybe that they were meant to be and they should never been with Jason Biggs, but it's like Jason Biggs had no part of her original criminal behavior. She stuck with her originally and she just cheated on him. And Yeah, but, but he maybe was it's really like... sexist of me because I have a big fan of Don Baker. So <laughs> Yeah, right. No, but... car, your car. <sighs> Which direction do you go? That direction. Your car. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. It's like when you do the thing you have to do, it should wear out. So you don't have to question like, your motives. Like, yeah, like it, it, immediately it's done if that's what you had to do with it. Yeah, it's like, okay, you did it. Ha <laughs> ha. But if you do this other thing you're supposed to do, I don't know. Give us E. <laughs> Use Vector Man. Vector Man, you're no help. No, but uh. The season two gets pretty good. It actually has like a. What the fuck? What are you? <laughs> what am I? <laughs> help me! I'm an abomination. <laughs> I definitely think that you were supposed to go in a different direction. It was not that. <laughs> oh, oh no! I was enjoying the moment. Okay. Um. Anyway, season two is great. Mind that you've also only lost twelve lives. In that. Season three. Oh, it's probably up there. Season three really plays up like a lot of really cool stories. But at this, what the fuck is this? Oh, do I destroy that? Was that yeah, like no. a? It's got a secret thing around it. Anyway, uh, but the thing was, it was one of those stupid seasons that happens with TV shows and even freaking movies now, like Marvel movies, where it's all just there. You watch an entire season of TV just to set something up. I never got really into um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., to be honest with you. I can't watch it either. They changed the show name there or something? I don't know. Wait, so I even... It's like Agent Colton? How... Okay, so speaking of the devil... How did he not die when Loki did the old spear thrust to the back of the, uh... Oh, okay, so Brandon explained this to me briefly. I have not seen the show. Apparently, he... Spoiler alert, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. It's not a spoiler, because I'm making it up based on what Brandon told me. I'm trying to remember it. Spoiler alert based he on what He either had some kind of super soldier serum, so now he's, like, actually super strong. Oh. And that brought him back, or they cloned him. Because I thought it was like a prequel thing, because I was like, okay, there's not a lot of superheroes in it. Fuck. That was the end of the level, wasn't it? It just happened to me. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah. I think it was at the end, though. So he, um... Yeah, or... You know, I think it kind of would have been cool, like... Brother shit happened. Like, so it, was, it was like a prequel so thing. He was actually a super... person. I he think something like there. that. He could have been, um... It, I think, I don't know, that's the thing though, the show's doing really well, I hear a lot of good things from a lot of people, so I'm complaining about a show I've never seen before, but if, just based on what I know, what I would have done, and it probably wouldn't have done very well, because we've all seen it before, like with Alias, but I just would have done, like, you know, the government side of S.H.I.E.L.D., trying to stop super people. That's what I thought it was. But there's, here's the thing. The thing that I lo oh, cool. the thing that I love about all that stuff is it's all tied together. It's all mushed. See, I was at the end of the level. <laughs> it's all mushed together. Like the Daredevil thing on Netflix exists in that whole universe. They'll reference other Marvel stuff. Shield obviously references all that stuff. The um, you know, there's rumors that Daredevil's gonna what? Ah ah. Uh, uh. I'm staying alive. I'm staying alive. What do, I do? what do I do? What do I do? Do you remember that time when Beckerman had to save the world by staying alive on the disco floor? Is that around the? Is that what I have the, to do? Nuclear vortexes. Is Everybody this... remembered this from that time of. I don't know, cause there, what hurts you? Are you getting hurt from any of those? No, I haven't been hurt yet. Do I knock him into him? Oh, oh you gotta get to where that thing is. Hit it inside. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, hit fuck that thing up here. Duh. Oh, it can now shoot really through that. Hurt. Yeah, well, it's because... Okay, now that I know. Now that I know. So you were staying alive. Now that I know. Yeah, hey, when I wasn't trying, I was, like, alive. Okay, so he will shoot at his door. Because of that. Oh, and it branches out in a way that's, like, impossible for anybody to comprehend. I see now. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up! 17. 16. Oh, is it time? Fuck these timers! Yeah, it's like there. Fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. Yes! yes! It was, it's like a fucking bad James Bond movie. It's like double O A. <laughs> oh, that's a fun fact. Guys, have you ever seen Goldfinger? Of course you have. The timer stops on 007. Originally filmed it stopping on one because that was more suspenseful. But then they went for the campy shit. But you know what? That's what we like about the James Bond movies. You're welcome. I need to explain that for not only our audience, but me. Because huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, the nuclear bomb and the 
device that's gonna blow up. Gold picker. Is that the one they're gonna blow up that the Jamaican they, island? No, that's they're they go into Fort Knox and basically the idea is okay, I don't know how this really works, because I don't know how new making something radioactive would make it worthless, but they were basically going to make all of Fort Knox's gold new oh, fuck. That would really show them. Nuclear. Oh, you are. I don't think you got what you're supposed to get. I don't think so either. I think we're supposed to go left. Um, but yeah, they were just gonna irradiate it. They were gonna make it all worthless because it was nuclear. Much like that. Yes. Worthless. <laughs> Vector Man is worthless. <laughs> I'm gonna do backflip for you. <laughs> you like hit me? We'll, we'll kill with the backflips. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So many tangents. I think it's time for a new episode. All right. <laughs> Watch me kill this gun next time on Questionable Gaming. <laughs>